Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so, so excited. This company, Hippies, they reached out to me a while back um, after I started following them on Instagram and sent me some samples of their chickpea snacks. And they're delicious. You guys, they just sent us. I'm so excited, I can't even like talk right now. So excited! If you guys haven't tried these yet, find them and try them. Starbucks, it's all a lot of Starbucks. The white cheddar and far out fajita are my favorite flavors. Oh my god! Heck yes. Macros are fantastic. Per serving, there's four in this container. Five fat, 18 carbs, three fiber, and four protein. It tastes like Cheetos, but they're vegan and they're made out of chickpeas. It's mind blowing. Go try them. And if you've tried them before, comment below and let me know how much you love them because they're the bomb. Thanks to the people at Hippies because this is like the best thing to come home to. This is awesome. The building is falling. Spending Friday night at Matt's office because we're cool. <laughs> we're actually killing time right now before we go meet Parker and Jen at the Rock Gym. Um, we've got a workout to do tonight that is gonna be fun but intense. We're eating dinner here because we're saving money. I actually did an Instagram live feed while I cooked this at home. I think I'm gonna start doing that more. I don't know why I haven't done it yet, but basically just cooking and talking to anybody that wants to hang out, telling them about the recipe and just showing them the process of it. Be ready for that. I'm gonna show you guys what I did cook. This is Matt's dinner. This is tempeh. Um, I keep telling you guys I'm gonna show you all this recipe. It's tempeh with like a mushroom garlic rice. and It's really, really good. And I've got veggies with a sauteed tofu and it's teriyaki and soy sauce. Also sauteed mushrooms and garlic. Lazy man's rice. I'm gonna add it to this and add some more soy sauce. I couldn't even start it. I, and then I, went, like, inside. I, I did that, but I couldn't do this part. It's a big heel hook. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now we go up there. Some burpees. Four total. <laughs> What's going on, you guys? So bringing y'all a nice little commentary while y'all watch our workout at the Rock Gym from Friday. Now keep in mind, this is in addition to the lifting that I've been doing, so I have to be very careful not to um, overtrain or do too much. So I have to modify the workouts just a little bit, like whenever they call for extra cardio, if they call for a lot of um, upper body intensive movements or extra shoulder work, I don't necessarily do. But I am looking to get better at climbing, as always. Um, yeah, so I was gonna update you guys on workouts, my macros, we're going to do a physique update at the very end of this video, so stay tuned for that. And first, I'll just update you guys on how my powerlifting training is going. So it's honestly going really well. I haven't posted many updates um, about that other than just workout footage because things have been going so well. I'm, I'm in a good groove. I'm motivated. I'm increasing in all of my weights and volume every week, so I can't complain there. Now, as far as my split goes, um, I am lifting four days a week, which is less than what I am used to, honestly, but it's the perfect amount of volume because it is pretty intense as far as volume um, goes. So I have the first two days of the week, so Monday and Tuesday typically, day one and day two, are my heavier lifts. Um, and so I do three sets of anywhere from six to eight reps on everything. And I do, of course, I do my bench, squat, deadlift, uh, overhead press. Those are my main compound lifts. And then I'll do accessory work. So Mondays I focus on, I believe, glutes and back along with deadlifts. So I'll do three sets of six, which is very, very heavy weight. Um, and this week, actually, my, my coach did adjust my deadlifts. Um, I'm doing three sets of seven right now with 225 and looking to increase that week to week. Uh, Tuesday, I do the same three sets of six to eight on um, 
bench and squats, overhead press, and then I'll do some uh, accessory shoulder work in there along with some quad work too. So working full body uh, four times a week essentially is what I'm doing and I love it. I love that it's not the typical you know, quote unquote, bro split that I've been so used to doing for four years now. Uh, just kind of getting me out of my little box and, and doing some new things, uh, trying things differently. But the progress is still happening. I'm still loving it. So um, my bench is, I'm, I'm actually working up to four by four with bench and I did four by four of uh, 135 this week and then I also did 4x4 four four on squats at 205 and I'm having to focus so much on depth in squats. Um, I need to get some squat shoes um, so if you guys have any recommendations for those please leave them in the comments below ideally no leather um, and something that would be allowed in a powerlifting meet. I don't know what the rules and regulations are for that. So if y'all have any information, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Um, but yeah, so and then Thursday and Friday are actually just a repeat of Monday and Tuesday with different volume. So I do three sets of 12 on the lifts that I just mentioned. Uh, so it's very, very simple, but effective. I'm increasing in weights and I actually feel like I've noticed a difference in my my muscles. I feel like my glutes are growing a little bit and my my shoulders have definitely gotten a little bit broader. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm freaking pumped about the progress that I'm seeing. So um, there's a quick audio clip and then I will see you guys again in just a second for more commentary. Harry, what do y'all think so far? Super easy. <laughs> we got round two out of four. So we're halfway done. Burpees are out of the way. I don't think we have any more burpees after this. So it's safe to say that our climbing training is going really well. And what's been fun is that Parker and Jen have joined in with us. So it's it's nice to have a group so that we're not suffering together. Matt and I have done um, a part of this program before. And we got kind of bored with it over time. Well, I won't say bored. We got unmotivated. <laughs> and we honestly just stopped doing it. So having four of us all in together doing these workouts is great. Um, it's different than lifting. You you kind of help push each other whenever you're climbing and you're super tired or if you don't want to do the core work, you kind of just help each other work through it. So that's been really nice. So let's talk macros. So where have my macros been at? I don't know the last time that I updated you guys on macros, but I'm basically at about my maintenance level at this point when I am tracking. Um, my goals right now are 155 protein, uh, 55 fat, and right around 300 grams of carbs. And when I am consistent with those, I am maintaining my weight just fine. But lately I've been pretty wishy-washy on the weekends. Um, I'll track pretty consistently during the week, and the weekends I just kind of chill um, and tend to overeat. Uh, that's just kind of how I have been since dieting uh, pretty restrictively for most part of my life, not including the last couple years, um, I tend to overeat because I have that mentality of if I don't eat it now, it's not going to be available to me. So yeah, if, if I'm not more consistent with macros or being mindful of eating intuitively, I definitely do overeat. But those are my goals. That's where I'm at right now. I'm trying to aim for about maintenance, but I do believe that I might have to cut just a little bit if I do want to hit the 138 weight class when I do compete in powerlifting. Um, right now I'm sitting about 143-ish, depending on the day and the time. I'm averaging about five pounds above that. So I don't know. That's something I'm going to chat more with my coach about and see. But um, I have been tracking consistently again, and we'll see how this next weekend goes. But yeah, I mean, I'm not stressing. I'm not freaking out about it. It's not like I'm going to um, have to hit that certain weight. If I want to compete in a higher weight class, I can. It just we're kind of taking it one week at a time and seeing what happens. Um, and again, I'm not going to stress about it. I'm not freaking out about the scale, which is awesome. Something completely new to me. So yeah, not, not looking to cut anything at this time. But you know, if I do update my goals and update my macros, I will let y'all know. And then of course, if you guys have any questions about um, my personal goals, my macros, my powerlifting programming, 
let me know in the comments below. I'm always happy to chat with you guys. I love engaging with you guys in the comments. Of course, your feedback is always appreciated. So if y'all have any particular videos that you want to see or topics that you would like me to touch on regarding lifting, macros, uh, mindset, body positivity, intuitive eating, climbing, anything of that sort, definitely leave it in the comments below. But that's going to be it for the commentary. Stay tuned for the physique update and enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Okay, so we're in our last round. We have lift rollers that he's going to be doing in the corner over there. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> and then push-ups. <laughs> One minute each, and then we're done. It's been great. We're done. For a second, I could see a shoulder vein. <laughs> we're a mess. What are you doing? Like, what's going on here? <laughs> You're just sitting with the weights <laughs> yeah. next to you. Whatever, it's a minute. It's We're done. That was a mess. We did good today, guys. <laughs> good job.